hello guys welcome back in cool it help and this is the new video tutorial for you and in this video tutorial we will see about a very cool and awesome desktop automation tool yes we are going to discuss about the auto it in this video tutorial you will learn how to use auto it and you will be able to write your own automation script for the desktop automation so the agenda is first we will see download and setup of for the development and then we will write a simple automation script inside the auto it editor and in this video tutorial i will uh, explain you about all the components that comes with the auto it package so guys let's get started so guys first of all we have to download the auto it package so open your favorite browser and here you have to type download auto it and press enter and uh, all these results will appear so guys we have to go for the first one so click on the first one open in the new tab and this page will appear so guys this is the official download page of the auto it package here all downloads are available so for the our development what we have to download just scroll down and you will see the screenshot this is for the branding and you will see the overview and some details under the sections so the auto it can be used uh, inside the windows xp windows 7 environment windows 8 and it is also compatible with windows 10 and guys inside the current version sections just scroll down and you will see the software and right hand side you will see the exe download link so guys we are going to proceed with the first one so here we have a complete package in the single installer so we are going to download the auto it auto exe auto it x and editor within a single package against this you can see this is the download link and here we have to click once and the downloading will start and guys you can see on the left hand side of the screen downloading is in progress and it will take one minute or more it depends on your network speed right now downloading is completed and now we have to just double click on this exe to launch so i'm going to do a double click on it after the double click you will see the very first screen for the uh, setup and uh, this welcome message will appear it is going to be installed 3.3 version click on the next and you will see on the license agreement page here we have to do nothing and we can proceed with the license agreement if you want to read you can go through that this is the end user license agreement of for this software once you click on the next you will see this window this window will automatically detect your operating system environment right now it has detected the operating system 64 bit operating system and now it is showing us a choice uh, for which version we have to proceed suppose guys you uh, your operating system detected as a 32 bits you have to proceed with the uh, x86 the second option and uh, right here we have a 64 so we are proceeding with the first one and now click the next button and you will see this page this is the default setting for the script file so guys you are going to write the script file and that will be saved with the extension au3 so it is asking that what you want when you double click on such files so that will be executed or that you want to open in the edit mode I suggest you choose the second option that will help you you can uh, do double click on the .au3 file and the editor will appear and there you can do modification and then after you have a choice you can execute the script on the fly so that will help you in the development process so I am proceeding with the second option and finally uh, after selecting this just go in the bottom section and click on the next button here we go and now uh, we will see this page choose component we have to do nothing on this uh, screen and it is showing the space required 31.3 mb it is not too big uh, click on the next and you will see the install location so we have a choice we can install in any drive right now it is going inside the program files of c drive so i suggest you leave this as it is and click on the install button 
and guys uh, you can see the installation process is started and it is extracting the, some important files on your drive and the setup is being ready by the system for first use so we have to wait for the completion of this progress bar okay guys finally you will see this message uh, the auto uh, installation is done and uh, there's a checkbox so i don't think this is required to read the release notes uh, now finally click on the finish button so installation is done at this place now guys i will show you uh, the package the components installed uh, for the auto it i will explain about the each component so you can see inside the start menu we have these components installed so i will tell you uh, about each component one by one so as you can see the first component is scit script editor as the name suggests this is the script editor so once you click the editor window will appear there you have a text area so you can write your script and you can and do some modification and you can save it with the extension dot au3 and now we will uh, know about the run script guys this is the utility comes with the auto it package so as you can see x64 that is indicating if you are going to create for this script if you are going to create this script for the 64-bit uh, machine so you have to choose this one to run this script on windows 64 64 bit machine and just below that we have x86 if we have a windows 32 bit system so we can proceed with this second one basically this run script utility is used for running the dot au3 file okay now come back to the next one we have compile script dot exe guys this is the utility that convert our dot au3 files to a standalone exe so in that case you don't need to worry you don't need to install the auto it package on another system on which you want to run automation so same way we have the x86 uh, utility and this is the most useful uh, the next one is most useful utility auto it windows information guys this is the uh, basic utility given here to identify the windows component suppose you want to interact with the uh, file browse and there is a button uh, save cancel okay so this utility help you to identify the components and on the basis of that you will uh, get the information uh, inside the you this utility utility window and on the basis of that you can use the name of that component class of the component and you can write the automation script inside the script editor uh, same way we have a two version x64 uh, and x86 uh, because we have two types of environment 32 bit operating system and 64 bit operating system now we will see uh, the script editor so just click on it and you can see this is the script editor this is open in edit mode this is the light version and guys uh, here we will write a small code to open the notepad so what we have to do we have to simply type run notepad.exe so here the target is we want to open the notepad.exe once we run this script so we have to write run inside the bracket you have to give the name of the exe notepad.exe okay guys now we will save this file as au3 extension so i will show you the process so we have only one statement now i'm going to save this file okay so i'm going to save in a particular location so as you can see we are getting this save as type option so i have selected au3 and now i am giving the name of the script my script my first script and that will be saved with the extension dot au3 click on the save and now the file is saved okay guys now i will show you how to execute this script so guys just minimize this window and now go back to the start menu and uh, we have this package so guys 
click on the run a script utility once you click so, uh, this browse window will appear you can see the title of this window is run a script basically this is designed to execute the auto script so directly a file browser will appears so we have to find out the files where we have saved so this is my file my first script.au3 and i have selected it now i will click on the open button once you click on the open button so the script written inside the au3 file will be executed and the desired results will appear so guys you can see this notepad is appeared wait for a second there are uh, other notepads are open so you have not seen the opening of the notepad let me do it again and uh, we will again go to the run script and click and select the dot au3 script and click on the open now you will see this uh, notepad is open automatically in edit mode so guys this is the way you can write this script for the desktop automation in auto it and guys we will uh, discuss about the next utility which is compile script.exe file so once you click on that you will see this window this is the uh, tool for converting our script to a standalone exe because uh, we are designing our script for the target desktop okay so we will not ask the person that you need to install auto it for that so it this utility will convert our au3 script into a standalone exe so this is a very useful utility in auto it package so how this will work we will check here so as you can see this is very straightforward so we have to select the source file so we will use this browse button click on it and uh, it will open the browse window we will search our script so we found it here click open you can see the source is selected and the destination file is .exe file so it will generate the .exe file so this is auto automatically uh, set to the source location so the uh, exe file will be generated just adjacent to the source file and guys there is option you can set the dot uh, ico file and icon file on the exe and uh, this is the option you can check it if you are using windows 64-bit operating system and uh, this is straightforward there is a button to convert just click on it and your exe file will be generated you will see this message conversion is completed and i pressed ok and we will see the exe file so i'm going inside the folder where we have the source auto script guys uh, this is the generated exe file so the util utility worked very well and this is the auto script converted into .exe now we will test it is it working or not just double click on it and you will see the untitled notepad is open in edit mode because we have written the one line statement to open the notepad so guys a script is working perfectly and this is the way you can set up and write your first auto script in script editor with the help of this auto -it package and guys uh, we will move on the next we will understand about this auto it windows info utility so here i have just clicked on it and this utility window will appear this is the very useful utility so basically this utility comes in use when you want to know about the windows component okay so you have to write this script and you must know about the component name component class so auto it script will detect that thing with the help of this finder tool so how this finder tool work let me show you suppose we have to uh, detect the objects on this window on this current window so go to the finder tool click on it use the mouse pointer okay and just 
drag the circle okay just drag the circle at this place you can see the uh, outer line around this uh, uh, window area and on the left navigation on this address bar and the top window so the finder tool trying to detect that portion so all the elements which is intractable that will be detected and the information will be stored just here on these tabs windows control visible text hidden status bar and toolbar with the help of these information like title so we can write this script and we can select the elements with the help of title we can select the element on base of class name and base of the visible text so this utility tools provide you the uh, detection and it will give the information about the components on the target window so we will use that things and we can write this script in the editor for the automation and guys uh, I hope you found this video useful and please like this video and please share with your friends and please subscribe my channel. I will bring next video in which we will see the uh, complete working of uh, the script, how we can write this script to interact a notepad. We will open the notepad and we will write some text inside it and we will perform the save activity. There we will get a pop up and we will interact that pop-up and then we will uh, uh, choose the save location and we will finally save the notepad file so we will write such a script and uh, all these stuff we will see in my next tutorial of the auto it and if you really want to uh, learn about the writing of the auto script so please uh, like this video and please subscribe my channel for the new upcoming videos on my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help